All right, guys, welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show. We're at the hunting club getting ready for deer season. We're checking on a few uh, last minute food plots, see how they're doing. Gonna change out a few batteries and cameras and whatnot, but let me show you, uh, tell you kind of what I got going on here. This is our club map, and uh, in order to, I guess you say, hunt certain areas, uh, you have to sign in a book. Well, if you sign in here, you might have to travel through somebody. So I have picked up a new ride for the club to make me a little more stealthy, a little more quiet, and get in and out uh, without causing a ruckus to the wildlife. So let's check it out. Check out this sweet ride. We got the new Aventon Adventure e-bike. Now this thing is stealthy. This thing will get like 45 miles to one charge. It's very simple, very quiet. I've already put it through the mud. It's got those big four inch uh, thick thre uh, threaded tires on there. I'm telling you, I've already been burning burn a little mud and whatnot. Got an easy port right there for plug-in. Plug it in right there. Let you know it comes with a key to, to keep your battery locked in place. We'll hold that down. The blue light comes on. And then what you have up here is where you can turn it on. Once the blue light's on, the eventing label comes up color LCD, if I will say, which will help at nighttime uh, or any glary sunny days as well. So uh, it also comes with a light. See if we can get the light to come on there. Oh yeah. So when you're coming out at night, you've already got the light. Come on. It's awesome stuff. So we're going to go check some food plots and uh, see how this baby rides. Now the eventing bike comes with an app you can download the event app and it'll actually keep track of what you do on here and uh and also help you keep track of, of your buddies as well so let's give this thing a track Aventon's roots lie in high-performance cycling with a reputation for disrupting the market by providing top-tier products at an attainable price. Oh yeah. Look at that food plot. Ain't that cool? Sit that right there. Give it a little pedal. That pedal assist. And we're right back to. Right back to 20. Come on. Got the little brake light. All right. Well, we got the food plots checked. Got the batteries chained out in a few a uh, few cameras. And uh, I guess we're ready for this coming weekend for deer season. Uh, if you're interested in an e-bike, the Event and Adventure, I believe, will fit you just like it's fit me. There's a link in the description. Y'all go check them out. And uh, hey, maybe you'll be in the woods stealthy just like me. That being said, though, it's time to get some hog action. So let's roll. Welcome to today's episode of the Yacht Yacht Show. We just got the trap loaded up. This trap had been sitting here uh, in this spot right here, this is where me, Schlade, and my uh, buddy Lance come and uh, caught some pigs. The reason we come here and caught these pigs were because of the duck hole situation. They were planting a duck hole, hogs come in, rooted up the duck hole, and then, uh, so they called me in, we caught the pigs, and then they reseeded and did all that. And look at this right here. Look at the feed that the ducks is gonna have now. Look at that, look at all that millet. It's thick, boys. It's thick. Yes, sir. So that's what we're doing right now. We're moving to another duck hole. We're gonna to try to help them. Now that millet is already grown. It's a little late in the season, but we're trying to keep the hogs from eating what millet's already there. So let's go. Y'all don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and uh, go to yallyall.com. Help support the channel. Be a fan subscriber. You can watch the knocking heads and all those giveaways we do. Any which way, let's roll. Well, we're on to the next job. We're at the next job, per se. Now, this is the duck hole here. Or uh, will be the duck hole once some water gets in here. As you can see, they had a little seed, duck seed. But you can see this ain't near what we just come from. Uh, 
far as growth, but I actually saw some pigs in this field the first day I come checked on this job. I didn't have my 22 mag, but you can see it's just loaded with, it does have food in here for ducks. But what happens is these hogs come in here and they just root up this, they take that whole head and they just be like, oh. and uh, so I'm telling you, these hogs just take away from all streams of other wildlife. Uh, they just rape the land of everything. Matter of fact, well, you can see right here, this is all beat down hogs right here. And uh, they've just made a wall of right here, uh, right here in, in the duck hole. So, any hose, let's go over here and find a spot and get this trap up and be ready to help this landowner out the best we can. Don't forget, as always, to go to yachtyacht.com. And uh, <sighs> do your thing. <laughs> but, uh, let's go over and get this trap set up somewhere. Got power, shell service, and strength. There you have it, folks. Big pig trap is set up. I put a little bit of a uh, lucky buck in there just to help scent for it. And then, uh, anyway, all we got to do is wait and see if anything's going to come in. This will be the first night. Might not catch on first night. So, uh, but anyway, this is what I use scent right there. Just seems to help a little bit with that, that luring smell to say, you know what, this ain't a trap but it is <laughs> anyway let's see how it goes and uh we'll see y'all soon rolling down the road uh oh there's a game we know what happens when we see the gates. Well, y'all know what time it is. <sighs> what a place to be on posted land. <laughs> if you see the gate, the head knocking awaits. Come on, let's get the gates open. Let's ease on down in here and see if them hogs is still in there. lighting but I think these are some bigger holes and we kind of need to get those bigger holes knocked down but it's easy up to these woods I have the trailer behind me it's so loud I don't like I like slipping up on these things so I'm going to bar right there anyway we just ease on down here let's try and do a little food plot right there it looks like let me swing wide because I got this trailer. We're just gonna eat. We're just gonna show up in this field right there. You can see the daylight in the. There you go. See that little field in the back? That's us right there. We're just gonna roll up here with these lights. Hopefully, them hogs are at right. Just want to take that Toyota, old Chevy, be getting uh, banged up a little bit. Uh -oh. I see them jumping already. We'll shine light on. See if that helps. Hit my face. Ooh, good gracious. Yeah, my safety was on.
don't get these knocked down. So it's like 48 degrees this morning. I just got the pigs knocked down. And uh, let's see if you, you can see it right there. I'm just uh, warming up. Like I said, I'm a little thin blooded, stomach still, still having stomach issues. But anyway, I'm just sitting here in the truck warming up letting the pigs kind of you know get through with their kicking and stuff sometimes they just got a little kicking going on nerves and uh anyway that was a rodeo there so uh anyway i'm just reading it says the lazy man does not roast his game but the diligent man prizes his possessions oh i try to stay diligent as much as i can start, i try not to be as lazy uh <laughs> but uh, some days I'll just be lazy, but uh, today I try to stay busy and go, I don't know, but I just tell people, you know, you want to succeed in life, you got to keep moving. You got to keep moving, keep moving. If you want to, I don't know, you just, you want, I always say, if you want things going for you, man, you got to keep moving. It ain't going to happen just laying on the couch. And uh, it's okay to lay on the couch and pray, but uh, you just got to make that effort, make that step in life, whatever you're going through, just make that step effort to, to and then make the step and then let the lord guide your feet i guess what i'm trying to say i don't even know if that makes sense but anyway just sitting here and it just made me think about when people are lazy and things don't happen for them they seem to complain but if we just take those steps forward god will lead us in the direction if we listen so i don't know if that makes any sense but hey maybe somebody got something out of it <laughs> just don't be lazy i mean be lazy on, on sunday <laughs> uh, but anyway what you way uh, all right there they are we got them knocked down we got them knocked down so uh pretty good sized hogs uh two sows two boars i'd say and uh we're gonna get them drug out and everything and get them on the trailer uh and whatnot so uh, i don't have my tripod so what i'll do is i got my thing set up here in a tree and uh i can uh I'm gonna put it on time lapse uh pull my trailer over there and we'll drag them up and try to have everything reset up, redo everything, because I really got this big boar hog. And uh, I'll try to show you, if I can pull the footage from last night uh, of his big boar hog that, that, that's in here. Uh, he actually come in the trap last night. So I'd really like to get him, just say, but I had to catch I had to catch a group first. I had to catch the group first. I couldn't, couldn't catch the boar hog first. I had to catch him. So, and these like to get out. I mean, I say got out, but they were jumping and hitting. I mean, they were hitting up here. You know, they were getting up there, so I didn't have a whole lot of footage of them. And that's the reason, you know, I had to get them on knockdown because I wanted to get the shooting for the yachtyacht.com. And, uh, but, oh, things just happen too fast. But anyway, we got them. So let's get them loaded up, son. Okay, so what y'all just saw was me bust my tail. It's been time lapse, but uh, I busted my tail. I busted it. Tripped over this some right here, fell down, and uh, hurt my pride a little bit. Anyways, I'm out of time lapse. <laughs> uh, in case anything else happens, I want y'all to see it in real time. good in there. Ease up in here and get a nut. Tell you what. Yeah. You may have saw I had to put some pliers in here. I don't have no safety pans on this trap, so I had to put some pliers in there. Channel lock, whatever you want to call it. Like I heard another shot. Somebody been shooting his bow season. <laughs> I didn't heard about three or four shots this morning. Oh, not including mine. So 
If that's a bow, they need to check the dampeners on that thing. It's kind of loud, you know. <laughs> Two boars and two saddles. Now we get this trap cleaned up a little bit. We get it cleaned up in here. Try to get that corn pile back up. Maybe he'll come on in there. I'll use some of that lucky buck. Sprinkle in there a little bit. And I won't catch that big one. So, Whew. give me a minute or ten. <sighs> we got it cleaned back up. I actually took. You can see some big hog right there on the trailer. I actually took that lucky buck and, <laughs> let me show you, sir. So I got a bucket of acorns in there <laughs> and uh, mixed with that salt. I like to call it yacht salt. <laughs> you can see the different coloration right there. Anyway, I put it right there. They like to want to eat acorns and uh, I got a lot of corn out, right? So since that corn's all strode out everywhere, they'll probably come up there and want to just eat on the outside but i'm hoping maybe he smell them acorns or get him a taste of acorn and uh we can uh get him to stay in there but right now it's a lot of corn on the outside and i don't have if i had a push broom i'd get a lot of them in there i try with my hands but i can't but anyway that's what we're gonna do and uh all got camera system still got service and everything so we good safety pans is out uh or the screwdrivers, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and then uh, we got pigs, man. We just got pigs. So uh, I got another spot I'm fixing to go to right now. I got a pig. I got a pig in another trap I'm fixing to go get. And uh, so I got to take them over there, and then we're going to find, see if we can't find somebody to get these pigs. But uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Yes, sir. over here to the other duck hole we've been to before where me and Slade was at and uh, I caught one hole and uh where I caught caught like 12 and then I caught a big old boar hole and then I had this one come in and I and I caught this just a little sow so I won't show much on it but anyway we right here been within I got two miles up two traps about two miles three miles apart so once we go out we just go back around and uh go through the refuge and uh Hope ain't nobody bow hunting today because I'm just gonna drive right past them. I got a key to the to the, to the gate and to get to that private land. So maybe ain't nobody hunting right there on the close enough. If they are, they can have some hog meat if they got problems. <laughs> I don't want no problems. Oh, uh, good hoes. Let's see, can you see back there? Can y'all help me? All right. Anyway. Lock this gate up. And lock the gate up and then we'll be ready. Right. So I'm walking down here to the trap. Mainly because in case I see a uh, Hog in the field or something, I won't be able to shoot it. I think that pig's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Huh? 
That's a bull. I thought it was a sow. That's a bull. Dude, you there? I'll get over here. Out of the side. That old dude. Dang, got him with that 22 mag, and uh, popped him. He got a little jerk in him left. He got a little jerk in him left, but he got some. Oh, there's cutters right there. Man, I might have to give them cutters away too. What y'all think? I'm telling you, y'all just stay. If everybody that comes to the yachtyacht.com goes to yachtyacht.com, uh, Comes a fan subscriber and stuff like that, man. We're gonna be giving away like, I mean, we'll give that hog head away. I just clean him out like I did the other one, and uh, we'll keep doing. But anyway, oh, uh, we got this big hog down, and uh, I'm fixing to go back and get the uh, uh, go back and get the truck, and then we get him loaded up on the trailer, and then I gotta take this camera right here. So I gotta take this camera, and I'm taking it to another job. I've already set the trap up, but I'm taking it to another job. So. Anyway, another stud boar hog. I mean, he's big as other, but he he nice. He real nice. <laughs> Let's walk back to the truck, and we'll come back and get him loaded up. Oh yeah, nice little cutters, I guess. I can get it right there. Yeah, nice cutters. I say he cut you up. What you think? Oh yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they a little fuzzy. They a little fuzzy. All right, let's get this big dude loaded up on the trailer. And uh, so he can be with his buddies over there. Well, he don't know their buddies, but <laughs> they're buddies now. Whew. Get the pocket drag on. You can get them at pocketdrag.com. People are always asking me about some pocket drags. We got him loaded up there. Put that thing in his mouth. Trying to see y'all can see the cutters on that dude. But uh, as you can see now, we got <clears throat> three boar hogs on here. 
And they all seem to be about, see if I can get up a little higher. I don't know if I can. They all seem to be about the same size, right? That boar hog for those boar hogs, but I don't know. So that one had a, that one had teeth. And then these ones, it's just like it. They don't have no teeth, you know? So all I know is I got a, if I got three boar hogs, I got a six pack of fuzzy wuzzy. <laughs> Oh, but you can see no brown hogs up there. This is a dark hog. And uh, like I said, I don't know the difference. I don't know how old, different age. I mean, <clears throat> oh, this one's been eating on everything that's in a forest. And uh, those have too. So, I mean, they're both next to not to be refuge area. So, there ain't a whole lot of crop land. I don't know what the difference would be why that hog is just the same size as that hog. But that hog has no teeth. I mean, did that hog eat more and he just grew faster? Is the hog older? I mean, he's not big, but he's nice. Looks like he's kind of got one of those California waves in his hair. It's kind of odd. Now that, I, now that I look at it, it's kind of a, I don't know. It's weird, weird. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I guess this is the end of it. We got them lined up. I don't know. I know it's the same old thing all the time, but you got to remember, repetition makes perfection. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> all I know is I be killing hogs. I be catching them. And uh, but any which way, I appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for joining in. Thank y'all for doing all the stuff that I asked y'all to do. And and just, I don't know. I just thank you. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We are headed out. Five big hogs, big boar hog, knocking head, feeding families, and uh, another duck hole kind of saved, and the other one helping. I don't know. It's time to do some bow hunting. What y'all think? Come on. Any which way, y'all have a good one. God bless. And this way, Jesus loves you. Ow!